My wife bought a 2022 Hyundai Santa Fe calligraphy trim. Top of the line all the way across. Long story short, because of the technology used in the radio, wireless CarPlay was left out. If you found this video by it being suggested, I do all things related to Apple with no bull. The good, the bad, and well, <laughs> the ugly. If that sounds like your style, please give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and turn on notifications so when I post a new video, you won't miss it. Thank you. Now, I'm not trying to ruffle any feathers with this, and I'm not feeding you some line. I just kind of want to have fun with why I think Apple can't get rid of their charging port. Yes, they can change it to USB-C, but they won't get rid of it anytime soon, and in this video, I'm going to tell you why. Now, this is something I've been thinking about for a couple years now. When I got my truck in 2017, wow, it's been a long time. I wasn't expecting my truck to have it. It was literally just introduced the same year, and I think BMW were the only ones that were saying they were gonna do it. So it was just introduced in 17. I don't even know if it was used in 17. My wife bought a 2022 Hyundai Santa Fe calligraphy trim. Top of the line all the way across. Long story short, because of the technology used in the radio, wireless CarPlay was left out. Meanwhile, the entry-level Santa Fe has wireless CarPlay. Seriously? Yes, seriously. So let's start this off with how many car manufacturers there are in the world. This, just stick with me. Eight Swedish, 10 Spanish, 17 French, 11 Indian, 88 US, 22 Italian. Probably not gonna drive a lot of those Italian cars because, you know, they're expensive. And you're not really using CarPlay in those cars, you're driving those cars, but regardless. 33 German, 11 Korean, 24 Japanese, 6 Russian, 61 Chinese, 15 from Africa, 65 from Great Britain. For a grand total of 371 car brands in the world. Now, before you say anything, I would say that a good portion of those companies are already defunct. So let's say half, okay? Hundred and uh, I don't even know what what one one uh, one seventy one eighty are still around. So here is a list of cars and models that currently use Apple Wireless CarPlay. <laughs> That's it. 115 models. I counted. I wonder how many other models are out there. I mean, judging by that list, that's a lot of cars. Now, let's not forget the fact that it was introduced in 2017, and I don't even know when cars tried to start doing it. Most of the cars just got it in the past couple years. Now, I see other brands on there with more models not listed. Let's also point out that not all of the models of these cars get it either. It's an option in some cases, still. Let's think about this for a second. You're buying a new phone. Apple's eliminated the port, and you like using CarPlay. Now, you might not upgrade or even get an iPhone because you don't have wireless CarPlay. Could you get an adapter that does this? Yes, but you know what? They're not perfect. I have tons of issues with mine, and I gotta be honest, I think most people would just give up and wanna plug their phone in. I know I actually have gotten so frustrated that I have plugged in. Now, if people are looking to buy a brand new car, I'm sure most of them aren't thinking, Ooh, will I be able to, you know, get wireless CarPlay with this? They're not gonna base their decision on that alone. They're gonna adapt to what the car can do. Now, with that being said, there might be a possible solution. And I say possible because, you know, I don't know the technology that goes in this, but if Apple could figure out a way to use their MagSafe charger to be able to access CarPlay, that could be an option. This reason alone is why Apple will not eliminate the port anytime soon. Now, I'm not done yet either. Let's talk about backups. iCloud, Google Cloud. Who's getting tired of all these extra fees for different services? Now, you can get two terabytes of storage in the Apple iCloud for $9.99 a month. I mean, okay, if you got the money to do that. But what happens when you fill that up? The file sizes when you take a picture or video on these phones isn't getting any smaller. Backing up to your computer is still the cheapest option if most people back up at all. Now what happens if you try to update to the latest OS and it fails? Well, the first few options give you a way to do it and check on your phone. But I just had to do this last week. Went through all of them. None of it worked. Guess what the last and final option was? Plug it into your PC and download the iOS update directly. Can't do that without a port, can ya? Hmm.
Solution? Well, it's the same thing I said about MagSafe data transfer before. Could they do it? I, don't know, I have no idea. Another reason why the port stays. Boom. Roasted. Side note, am I the only one that isn't 100% sure how iCloud even works? Do you want me to do a video on that? Go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you do. Next, wireless charging. I know what you're thinking. W what do you have to complain about this, Mike? You talked about using it. First off, it's slow and I've pointed that out. It's really not efficient at all, and the more videos I watch on it, the amount of wasted energy that is generated really is not good for your battery life. How many people use wireless charging right now? Off the top of my head, I know a ton of people that don't even use it or aren't even thinking about using it. The only reason why we have it in this house and my wife and daughter use it is because I bought them, but I don't count. I am way too deep into this ecosystem. In fact, let's take a poll. Comment down below if you use it or not. Now, if you use both, let me know that too, because I still use both. Solution? Battery tech needs to catch up to our demand that our phones are asking for. Yeah, thanks. I know I'm being Captain Obvious here. So far, the solution is just bigger batteries and accessories that are using more efficient plugs. Plugs plugs which you won't have access to. Where do I plug my dongle in to use my wired headphones? I already know your reply to this. Dude, just use wireless headphones. Yes, that's a solution. A solution? <laughs> that's a solution. But much like wireless charging, many people still don't use nor do they want wireless headphones. And to be honest, this might be the actual weakest reason to keep the port because I think most people would adapt, but I also know haters will be the first to point this out as it being, oh, why do they get rid of the port? Oh, you can't use wired headphones. You know you will. Now, while I use Bluetooth headphones, I also feel like it's ruined the music listening enjoyment. Disconnects, skips, weird interference. Am I back to the age of CDs with it skipping? This is bad as taking a phone call and it cutting out the middle of the conversation. I thought this would have been perfected by now, not gotten worse. Now, I want to hear your opinion on these reasons. Did I miss anything that you might have thought of? Am I just being crazy? Go ahead and leave a comment down below. If you want to check out how to save some battery on your phone, go ahead and give this video a peep right here. Of course, if you're enjoying this video and I'm helping you out, hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications so you won't miss my next video. See you later.